Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video will be about all the makeup I brought with me to college. Uh, disclaimer, I'm not wearing any face makeup. I'm only wearing eyeshadow and a lipstick. Um, and as you can see, my skin is very bad. It's probably the worst it's ever been in my life, which includes middle school, which is just ridiculous. But it is what it is. It's a stressful time, you know, I'm in college and um, just COVID, you know, life is not the greatest, but that's uh, neither here nor there. It's not what this video is about and I'm just going to jump into the products now. So I'll try to go through these in the order that I would like apply them to my face. And so I'll start off with a concealer. I have the Almay Smart Shade Concealer. I've also brought the Cody Airspun Loose Powder and the Pure 4-in-1 Pressed Min Mineral Makeup. I do have pan on that. This is the only, like, foundation product that I have. I typically don't go for powder foundations, but I wanted something if like, I don't foresee that I would want to put on like a full coverage face of makeup cause masks, but on the off chance I wanted something to put all over my face, I did bring this. I have two eye primers, which seems a little excessive, but um, this one in here is the Urban Decay Primer Potion, and I had cut open the tube and deposited it into this little sample size jar of an eye cream, um, and I'm hoping to use this up very quickly. And then as a backup, I have the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I also have a magnetic palette with several products right here. So right over here, this circular pan is a face powder. I have a Frankened contour slash bronzer shade, a blush, and this is a Franken highlighter. Um, right here, I have a matte cream shade to set my eye primer. This shade right here and this shade are from a Clinique duo. Um, this is Fawn Satin and Starry Rose. Down here, I have a black repressed from an e.l.f. palette. Here, I have a light brown from the Too Faced Chocolate Chip palette. These three eyeshadows are all from the same palette that this one was from, an e.l.f. palette. Um, this deep purple is also from that e.l.f. palette. This brown is also from the e.l.f. palette. It's kind of like an unofficial palette that I'm trying to pan. Um, this brown shade I frequently use in my brows. Um, I also use it as an eyeshadow though. These two, the raspberry shade and the green shade are from um, a palette. It's like a dupe brand. I don't really purchase from those anymore, but I have purchased a couple palettes from brands like that in the past. I believe it was Face Candy. Um, and these came from the Wild palette, which is supposed to be like a dupe for one of the Urban Decay Vice palettes. I don't know which one, but those are from that. And then this right here is just like a Franken shadow of a multitude of different things. I have the, if I can open it, I have the Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells Quad. I have a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade um, Koosh, and I have a little bit of pan on it. I don't know if you can tell, but there is a little bit of pan in the middle. I have one single eyeshadow. This is a bright green shade from MAC. This is the shade New Crop. Um, green is not generally a color I go for, but it's 
part of my school colors, so it seemed like a good thing to have with me. Next, I have the Stila Glittering Glow in the shade Gypsy. It's a really pretty iridescent pinky purple glitter. Um, yeah, it's. I don't tend to gravitate towards liquid shadows, so I wanted to bring that with me so I could focus on it and try to get some good use on it. Along the same vein, I have another liquid shadow. This is actually a duo with a glitter and like a metallic shadow. This is the Revlon Photo Ready High Art in the shade Peach Prism. This is pretty old. I've had this for a while and I would like to get some use out of it. That's it for eyeshadows. Now I have a couple of eyeliners. First, I have this tiny little pencil. This is an Urban Decay pencil. It was dual-ended. I ended up putting tape on the other end because the caps were touching each other when I tried to close like both ends. Uh, so only one cap could fit, so I put tape on the one end so I could actually use the other end. Um, this end right now that I'm using is like a charcoal gray. I believe the shade was smoky, but I don't remember the name of like the, the eyeliner, what the actual eyeliner was called. But yeah, so that's that. I am hoping to use that up sooner rather than later. I also have a nude eyeliner. This is the Rimmel Scandalize... <laughs> you guys all know this one. I'm sure you guys know this one. <laughs> Just the Rimmel eye pencils. This is nude color. I have the IT Cosmetics waterproof anti-aging gel eyeliner. Um, this is the highlight shade and it is indeed like a bright highlighting color. Um, I tend to use this on the inner fourth or third of my lower lash line and it really brightens the eyes, makes it pop, very nice. I have the sugar eyeliner this is the Stroke of Genius Heavy Duty Coal in the shade Green Light. Um, again, I brought this because it's nice to have like a pop of color and also it's green, which is my school colors. So it's a school spirit shade. <laughs> my last liner I have with me, I actually purchased while I was here um, and it is a liquid liner. This is the only liquid liner I have in my collection. This is the Wet n Wild Waterproof eyeliner. Um, I'm not a huge fan of any eyeliner really, um, especially liquid liner, um, but it does have a purpose, I feel. It's not something that I need in my collection, but it can definitely uh, do things that pencil liners can't, so I just, I wanted to try it out again. I, I don't love it, but it's, you know, it's fun. It was cheap and whatever. Moving on. Um, I have the Lesson, Lessons, wow, Essence Lash and Brow Mascara. Um, yeah, this is just a clear brow gel. That, that's, that's what it is. Um, I have two mascaras. I have the Ulta Beauty Voluptuous Volume. That seems a little redundant, doesn't it? Um, the Voluptuous Volume Volume Mascara. Okay, we get it, Ulta. <laughs> um, this is in the shade Black Brown. Uh, it's not volume. It's... <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm getting all tongue-tied over here. It is not volumizing. Isn't that ironic? Um, I use that when I'm going for more natural looks, so. <laughs> then I also have the Essence Lash Princess Mascara, and this is the Volume Mascara. It's in the pinky coral tube. And next I have lip products, and that's that will be the end of it after I'm done with the lip products. So I have several lip balms. I have the Juvia's Place uh, Nubian Glow Lip Balm 
in the mango flavor. I have a Blistex Raspberry Lemonade Blast. I also have another Blistex. Um, it's like a citrus flavor of some sort, but it's in my backpack and I'm too lazy to go grab it. I have a Pepsi lip balm. Doesn't seem very Pepsi-y to me, but whatever. Um, yes, yeah, so that's four lip balms. Then I have this tinted lip balm. It's a Franken, but I really like it. I have a clear lip lacquer from e.l.f. It doesn't look very clear anymore, but it used to be. I have this Buxom Mini. This is in the shade Dylan. I have a full-size Buxom in the shade Erin. I have the Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipstick in the shade Sugar. I have this Liplicious Strawberry Boonilla Lip Gloss. Um, this was like from Bath & Body Works a long time ago. I have this. This is like a Franken as well. Um, this is, this was the Avon Lip Gloss Glazeware Lip Gloss. And the, the words on here are so tiny, I cannot read those. I don't know what the shade was, but it was like a peachy shade. You can kind of see at like the very top there, some that didn't get mixed in, and the bottom too. Um, but I ended up mixing this with two mini liquid lipsticks, and now it's like kind of a lip lacquer. So it's it stays moisturizing and shiny, but it has like a full opacity, and I really like this color. And then the last lip product I have is a liquid lipstick from Sephora. This is, what shade is this? Um, I have no idea what shade this is. 29? Anyways, uh, it's like a deep forest green. Um, I originally wanted this, again, for like school spirit. Um, it's not quite the right shade of green. But, you know, it gets the idea across, so, yeah. That is everything. I will insert pictures. Oh wait, actually I forgot one thing. I have my setting spray. Uh, this is in the Mario Badescu bottle, which, um, this is actually a mixture of setting sprays. It is indeed partially the Mario Badescu uh, cucumber and green tea spray, but it also has some of the Cover Effects Illuminating Setting Spray and the Wet n Wild Setting Spray in the white bottle. I don't recall what that is, but that's all in here. That is everything. That is all the makeup I brought to college. Um, I didn't bring a primer. I didn't bring a foundation. Um, you know, for my first semester, I did bring a lot more with me, um, but I just wasn't using it and it was just taking up space and it wasn't practical to have all that and especially with wearing masks and everything um, for moving in this semester um, I brought a lot less. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!